What is up people? Dark Pora is back and we're playing not Minecraft, not Megaton, we are playing MTG Forge. Now, um, I haven't made a video in a while, and since then I've become a fan of Magic the Gathering, and this is what we're gonna play here today, since I'm pretty much addicted to this game right now. This is called MTG Forge, it's not really like any other Magic the Gathering simulator that you would find on the internet, like Cockatrice or um, Magic Workshop, or whatever it's called. This one allows for a quest mode, is what, what we're going to be playing today. So let's um, take a look. We have um, a lot of menus along the side here. I'm going to create a new quest here. If you don't um, have this game, I'm going to link it in the description. Hopefully you can find the download place, because it took me a while to find. It's like somewhere in the forums. Um, okay, so I play standard mostly, so we're going to get a sanctioned format here and standard. So um, what we're doing here is we're choosing the cards that we're going to open at the start and we're going to make a deck. So today we're just going to make a deck and see how that goes. Um, prize cards. So this is what you're going to win um, when you when when you win games. So we're going to choose same as starting pool because we've got standard cards for that as well. And hopefully this will incorporate Dragon Maze cards as well. That'll be nice. Um, allow unlock of additional... Uh, I guess so. I guess we can allow that as well. And we can choose a starting world. Let's go Raptica. Oh wait. No, 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 no. Main world. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, anyway. Since we're a noob at this game, and also this is in beta, so don't expect it to be going very well. Sometimes it lags out, sometimes you just can't even finish the game because it's stuck on some command and it just keeps looping. Yeah, it has a lot of glitches. So we're going to choose easy mode and fantasy mode, I guess. I don't even know what that means. Let's embark. Poets will remember your quest as Dark Pora's quest. Let's go. There we go. We have our quest. And I'm guessing it's already loaded. Mm, yes, it seems to be loaded. So let's take a look what cards. So you get given... Quest decks. Build new deck. So apparently you get given about, I'd say... Well, actually, we can tell exactly how many, depending on how many rares and stuff we've got. So it's about 15 booster packs you get given at the start, and you get a bunch of rares and a bunch of cards. It's pretty much like sealed, in a way. If, if you don't play Magic and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Good luck. Good luck understanding this entire video. But th this game is just pretty much sealed, but you go through and fight people and stuff like that. And guess what our, what our one of our mythics was? A Tybalt. Probably known as the worst planeswalker, but I don't know. Maybe I can make him work. Plus one to draw a card and discard a card at random. At random. Meh. And for the rest of him, you're never gonna get that far up. That's just pointless. What a terrible planeswalker. Let's just take a look at our rares and mythics here, because that's really what matters. It's gonna make our deck around. Got a flying exalted four drop that. Oh, other creatures have exalted. That's that's pretty good. Merciless eviction, obviously good. Board wipe. Sever the bloodline. Spot removal, but also removes everything else of the same name. And w as you'll see, maybe in a later episode, a lot of these decks ha are tribal, so this will matter. Exiling target creature of the same name will matter. Hellion crucible. I've never seen this before. Okay, so you put a counter on it, pay two to put a counter on it, and you can remove two to put a 4-4 four, four red Helgen creature with haste onto the battlefield. That, that's pretty nice. Also just taps for one colorless, so that's pretty nice. And we have a tap land. Excuse me, a red, well, what is that, um, gruel, gruel tap land, that's nice. Curse of Death's Hold. Enchant player, enchanted player control creatures, enchanted player controls get minus one, minus one. That's pretty meh. Five drop, that's terrible. Um It appears we do not have the pictures. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and took a look and it apparently we only just are missing this picture, like the rest well. At first I thought this was a Dragon Maze card and that's why we're missing the picture, but for some reason it's just not there. I don't know why, maybe they haven't implemented it, maybe something happened in the download, but anyway, moving on. 
as I noticed scrolling up the list, uh, we're not going to get Dragon Maze cards in this. I don't know why, but maybe next time we can play with Dragon Maze. Guess Dragon Maze is gonna, the dragon's going to have to sit out this time. Okay, so whatever this is, we can't see the picture, but it is a 6-drop exile a creature card from your graveyard, pay its mana cost, and pay its mana cost. Oh, okay. So so it revives something from your graveyard. Pretty much gives it flashback, a creature from your graveyard, but puts a token onto the battlefield. So that token can be populated, so that's, that's nice. Um, moving on, we've got a few more rares to go. So enchantment... Um, Attacks whenever a creature attacks you, you or your plane or a planeswalker. Reveal the top card of if it's a forest. Remove that creature from. Okay, that's pretty bad. Ghoul tree. Oh my God! Eight drop ten ten. One less to cast for each creature card in graveyard. That's that's pretty nice. I could probably make a deck out of that. Um, what do we got here? Five drop. Whenever a creature is dealt damage by Dread Slaver, this turn dies. Return it to the battlefield under your control. That now that is nice. Not there's not going to be much that can deal with that. So that's going to steal their creatures if they even hit this thing. Mind trick, a two drop rare. That's 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 weird. What we got here? Pay two. Target player puts the top card of his little library onto the graveyard. It gets plus X plus X. So it's converted. Well, okay, that that. I can see where you would make that, but I can't really see in a sealed area. I can't really see that working. Chaos Imps. Oh, what? how did I not see this before? It's Unleash card. I'm making an Unleash deck in real life. How did I not see this? Oh my, that's awesome. Comes down as a 7-6 Trample Flying, and with the new Exava card, Haste. But it is a 6-drop, so that's the problem. Lunar Mystic. Whenever you cast an instant spell, you may pay one if you do draw a card. Now that, that is a nice card. Um, okay, play creatures, this guy gets buffed up. So, oh, this is a good card. Trample whenever another non-creature token, non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's that's pretty good. Hellrider, everyone knows Hellrider. Sil Sylvan Primordials, one of the newer cards from... Gate crash. Um, that's not too good. I think it just fetches your forests when your stuff dies. I think that's how it works. I didn't really read it. And we have an angel here, four drop, but a massive cost for three white there. Other non-black creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So that'd be good in pretty much any deck that runs white and not black. And players can't pay life or sacrifice creatures, so that could screw up. A qu quite a lot of the decks here, and our final rare, Sarah Avenger. You can't play Sarah Avenger during your first, second, or third terms of the game. Why even make that a what? I don't even see the point. But nevertheless, it's a two-drop Flying Vigilance three-three, so that's pretty good. And for the rest, the sleep. Other no I'm just looking for anything else notable. Ghost quarters. That might be something. We have some charms. We have. Not really seeing anything else. That, that could be something. Six, s seven drops, seven, seven trample. We have a few vampire. Vampire Nighthawk's a great vampire, and the rest, just some other stuff. Commons, nothing really. Wait, that's a Dragon Maze card. We do have Dragon Maze. Awesome. Complete. I didn't even see any other Dragon Maze cards. That's weird. Maybe we only got one Dragon Maze booster. Got some buffing and some murders and stuff like that. Stab wound is great. Nothing really else. Wait, is that? No, that's nothing, anything. We've got some old vampires. Nice black cards. I, I normally always play black. What is this? We're missing another card here. De oh, okay, that's a Dragon Maze card. That's understandable, but it's a great card, whatever that is. I think it... Um, Bounces a creature when it comes into play. That's pretty good. Delva. Oh, ho, ho. I think we're making a blue deck. Um, what's this? When it dies, draw a card. That's, that's pretty good. Scroll of Grizzlebrand. I've no, I, I know I have Scroll of Avacyn, but what is this? 
target opponent discards a card if you can. Oh, so this is draw a card. This is di I honestly think drawing a card is a lot better. But that is a one draw. Oh well, standard one drop target player loses three life. Actually, it's a two drop, so that's terrible. Disregarding all that. Okay, so it appears that we have a lot of nice blue cards, which, what am I doing? Up here you can toggle what cards show, so I'm going to have a look at all the blue cards we have here and see what we got. So obviously Runewing is looking nice. Mm, what is this? When it, more draw power. That's terrible. Delva, straight up. Put him straight in. There you go, Delva. Wait, before I do this, let me just take another look at my rares. See if there were any any other decent... Yeah, we have Tibol. I'm not even going to bother about him. Maybe we could go Azorius. As much as I don't really like Azorius. What was that? That's... That's blue. Was that a decent card? Oh yeah, the one where you can pay. That, that's that's all right. I'm. I guess we could try that out. Might as well. That mind shrieker wasn't too good. Well, I guess you could do it to them. That's pretty good. Let's put them in as well. And Luna Mystic definitely want that in. So we got a lot of draw power already. And let's take a look at our Azorius cards to see how they were doing. Do we? Oh, Sundering Growth. No, not Sundering Growth. We don't want that. And we don't want Multicolor card. Well, we do. We just don't want Orzov cards in here when we're looking for Azorius. I don't know how to turn that off. Okay, Sublime Archangel is definitely very nice. Going to put that in. Wait, do I have two? No, I missed. I misclicked. Of course. Also turning off lands as well. Where's the? This is the land toggle here. Sarah Avenger. Now, obviously can't be played the first, second, or third turns of the game. Actually, first, second, or third. That counts the opponent's turn. Now that's a good card. Now that I see that. And as much as I'd like to buff my creatures. I don't think we're going to be getting that kind of mana in a Azorius deck, unless we have a bunch of mana fixing, which it doesn't really seem like we do. If I take a look at lands and shove lands at the top, wait, no, at the bottom, Evolving Wilds, Ghost Quarters, let me read this. Destroy target land. Oh, so you destroy their land and they can search for a another land to replace it. Not really good at all. Hellion Crucible, we don't have, we're not running reds, so that's useless. Demir Gil, no. None of the decent guild gates for Azorius. But we do have a Rakdos guild gate, and we do have quite a lot of good Rakdos cards. Maybe we can make two decks and test them out, yeah. We're, we're probably going to want to do that later. If this deck doesn't work out, we'll definitely go back to Rakdos. So let's turn off lands for now, there's pretty much no decent lands for us. And rarity back up. I don't know how long this video is going to go for. I don't. I'm using Camtasia, so I don't really have a a timer on the screen, which sucks about Tam Camtasia. I've got to find a better recording studio. Grasp of Phantoms. Put target creature on the top of zone as library. Fly with flashback. I I I can't say I like that. Four drop. Could, you could have so much better than that. Mass Appeal, draw a card for each human we control. Well, that really matters. That really depends on, do we have humans? That's the thing. It seems we do. I'm sure Azorius has a plenty of humans. Maybe we should put that in there. No, not that one, this one. Is a Sorcery Veil. I don't know. Seems we're going to have a lot of draw power here. Sleep, going straight in. That's a wind gone. Simic Charm is useless. Second guess. Counter target spell, that's the second... Now with my experience playing this game, they do play sec they do play spells a lot, so I might just throw that in as a counter. Vanishment. Miracle, ooh. Miracle for one, put so it's the, it's so it bounces it onto their library. 
from Miracle. But the problem with Miracle is you don't want to draw it on your opening hand or draw it when you don't have the mana. So I might just... Yeah, I'll put that in there. 